citizens! So today I want to talk about audiobooks because I've recently started getting back into them after years of, well, forgetting how awesome they are. I used to love audiobooks when I was a kid, and every time I went to the library, I'd pick up one or two along with the stack of print books I was checking out. Audiobooks were also a staple of my family's road trips, so I've always been grateful to the classics like Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter for saving me from several car rides that would have otherwise been painfully boring. As I got older, I fell away from audiobooks, partially because I stopped going to the library as much and didn't have free access to them anymore, and partially because I stopped having as much free time, so it was faster for me to just read the books rather than listen to them. But a little while ago, I read Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, and as soon as I was finished with the book, I immediately wanted to read it again. And for some reason, possibly because one of the characters in the book also likes audiobooks, I decided that instead of just picking up the book for a second time, I was going to find the audiobook. To be totally honest, it took me an hour or two to get back into the whole listening thing. I initially thought that the narrator's voice was too bland and monotonous, but then I realized it was because she was separating her narrating voice from the voices of the characters. Eventually, I stopped noticing that altogether because I was completely drawn into the story, and by that point, I was listening to this book everywhere. When I was driving, when I was cooking or cleaning, every time I was on my laptop. I even listened to it in bed on nights when I couldn't fall asleep. And while I was listening to Fangirl, I started to remember all the great things about audiobooks. I still prefer print books for a first read-through since there are so many formatting details that won't carry over to an audiobook, but listening to a book that I've already read opens up a whole new understanding of the story. Audiobooks, especially the ones that go the extra mile to have separate voice actors for each character, almost feel like they're halfway between a book and a film. Hearing the words out loud really brings a sense of movement to the book. I still get to appreciate all the beauty of the language, but each sentence feels much more present and immediate, like it's happening right now and I'm caught up in the flow of it. Like the words are pulling me through the timeline in the same way that the visual shots would pull me through a movie. It's a more leisurely way of enjoying a book, one that forces me to slow down and appreciate every word rather than racing to get to the end like I usually do. Since I finished Fangirl, I have been listening to John Green read his most recent novel, The Fault in Our Stars, which is way more hilarious than it probably should be since the book is narrated by a 16-year-old girl and John Green most definitely does not have the physical voice of a 16-year-old girl. My pink underwear didn't match my purple bra. After I finished that, I'm looking forward to getting back into some of my old favorites, like The Princess Diaries, read by Anne Hathaway, The Golden Compass, which is one of the great ones with multiple actors, and Harry Potter, during which I will probably cry try at Jim Dale's amazing ability to voice like 200 characters in the same book. What are some of your favorite audiobooks? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. We'll have a new episode of Late Night Lit for you on Saturday and I will be back on Wednesday. Stay literary! After I finish that, I'm looking forward to getting back into some of my old favorites like Harry Potter, not read by Anne Hathaway and Harry Potter, during which I will probably cry at Jim Dale's amazing ability to voice like 20 characters. More like 200. <laughs> it was way more than 20. Um...